everyone, it is Susie, and I hope everybody is doing well. Getting ready to do the May spread in our 2021 bullet journal. Uh, I am going to kind of go with a different theme than what I actually had in mind. And um, also, I want to be sure that you go over and check out Rhonda Winstead's uh, bullet journal spread for May. Her and I have been collabing and kind of just um, sending each other over to each other's channel to check out the spreads that we have done for the new months. And um, anyway, um, Rhonda without an H, a lot of you know her anyway, but I will put the link to her uh, playlist, is, and that's where we're putting um, our bullet journal spreads, uh, our new videos is just in our uh, playlist. So I will put that link over there and you can go over, hit her playlist and uh, catch her also, uh, her uh, May spread. So let's get started. So what I decided to do for May, because I love May, I love our spring. I know summer's getting close when May comes and so I went with a bee theme this time, and I did use, um, I already had a download from My Porch Prints, and so that is what I am mainly going to be using for this spread. Now I'm keeping this really simple this time. I'm not going to get into trying to fill the whole page, just keeping it very, very simple this time. So um, I went ahead and I've stitched around my pieces that I'm going to use. I've already had it laid out for the sake of time uh, instead of, you know, having to keep pausing and, and coming back in. And so I got that all done so we can just kind of do the spread. So um, I decided I wanted to just use this B image. And that's it on, on the book page. I want to be able to see the book page in this spread. Uh, like I said, I, I want to keep this one really simple. I'm not going to try to fill up a lot of um, the space because I don't think you need to do that all the time. So let's go ahead and get this um, stuck down. And I absolutely love uh, this image from my poor prints. I, I actually love this digital. I actually I had to go back and find my download um, for it. I could not actually find where I had downloaded it the first time and so I had to go back in where I had purchased it which was uh, I believe it's it was uh, last year sometime probably about a year ago that I uh, that I had uh, made something with it. I actually made a journal out of it. And uh, so anyway, I couldn't find where I had downloaded it. And so I just went ahead and went in and downloaded it again. So um, anyway, so there is my B. And I like it just on the page, book page showing. And so I like that real simple look. So this one, I took my May my little May uh, calendar and I took this little uh, My Porch Prints. Now I did downsize these. I copied two to a page so it made it smaller. This is actually just an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper what it should be uh, folded and be your pages but I had actually copied two to a page so I got these a little smaller but you can always reduce your size on your uh, prints you know if you can't print two to a page and so I thought this would be just cute, just like this. This is my goals for the month, and uh, or the word of the month, I mean. And then just did a little stitching there, you know, just kept it really basically simple. So let's go ahead and stick this down. I love doing a little bit of stitching. I, I couldn't imagine myself anymore doing a a journal without some kind of stitching. It just has become such a part of what I do. There was a time I couldn't imagine doing stitching in a journal, believe it or not. 
and now it just seems like I just I cannot go without putting some kind of stitching on a on a journal so or in a page so um, here is this and we're gonna stick down our little word of the month here I got a napkin just right over there kind of get that stuck down and then oops I didn't didn't quite get that in there very good so okay and so there is our little May calendar and I have already seen the bumblebees out in my area already so okay we're gonna get our little word of the month stuck down okay all right, and so there is uh, basically my first couple of pages there. I love the bee, though. This is my favorite image, uh, I think, so far that I've seen of the bees. I love this image. I love the blues in with the yellow and the black, so I really love that. Okay, so there is our page there. Now, for my um, days of the month, I used a little butterfly here, and I believe this butterfly is a fussy cut from a little piece I had from the Butterflies, butterflies in Blue from Artie Mays. A lot of times I don't throw that away if it has a little image on it that I think I can fussy cut out, and the piece wasn't very big, just about big enough, you know, that the butterfly was on it, so I kept it. I have a little tub I keep all that in and so I fussy cut that out and I'm going to put it on my um, page here that has 1 to 31 there's 31 days in May okay. and this is just a little glass scene I've used it before um, in uh, some of my spreads before so it's just a little glassine. Um, it's some kind of Frisco um, train uh, ephemera. And so uh, I found it a long time ago at a antique shop. And so anyway, I still have that. But it's kind of like that glassine feel to it. Okay, and so there is our days to write on. Okay, and then so, um, I just love that, love the bees. Uh, so then what I wanted to do is, uh, I thought about just taking a piece of my age tape here, just for a little bit of fun um, and maybe you know sticking sticking a little bit down there just to give it a little a little fun and let's see what else might I do I thought about um, I know I had a couple of pieces here well see I don't know where they went I'm digging around again um, I had a couple little pieces that I had planned on, but that's okay. I can I can just tear another little piece here. I thought about using a little piece or something, just just kind of for a little little uh, fun there. I'm not sure. I might just put another piece of another piece of tape. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not liking that either. Yeah, I think I'll just put another little piece of tape. Okay, and we'll I'll just put that like that. And that just gives it a little bit of something there down the side of it. A little more vintage look. Okay, so there is that. Then on this page, I was going to uh, put my goals and looking ahead. And so I did go ahead and I will 
cover a lot of this up on this page. And then I thought I would just put my looking ahead here and put my goals and still kind of have the bee, the little beehives and things peeking out there. So, oops. Okay. I'm gonna put our little goals there. And then I actually could have, um, I had this butterfly cut out here too. I could actually go ahead and, and put a butterfly. I had one fussy cut out. I may just go ahead and put right there too. Okay. And we'll put our little goals for the month there. Okay. All right, so then I need to decide if I want to use this little butterfly. And if I do, I will actually do a little stitching there so it looks like it has the little um, antennas on it like I did over there. I like to do that on these butterflies when I'm stitching the page. Okay. So we might... We might just do that and put the little antennas. I think that would, oh, it needs to go this way though. Because this butterfly is kind of going that way. I'd want this one kind of going the other way. So I kind of like that. I think that might be, or I could put it, I could even put it down there. I think I actually like it down there. So let's just get it stuck down a little bit here. And then I will stitch on that real quick. That's what I will do. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put that kind of right there. Okay, I got to let that glue dry just a second. And um, then stitch on that okay so I've got the little um, the little antennas there kind of sewed on I just like to do that I think it adds a little bit something to the page I don't know but okay so let's get get this stuck down I'm kind of using a bottle with a little bit um, deeper flow of the glue today. Still using the reptile glue though. I still, that's probably my number one glue. I just, um, I just really like it. So I do have it on my Amazon favorites. But I really, really like the, um, the glue from the reptile glue. Okay, I seem to be just a little crooked, so. Okay, so there is that page with the goals and the looking ahead. Okay. And then for the last page, I uh, have my priority or task. And so what I thought... I would like to do is add a little bit of parchment behind it and I may stitch around that that's something I didn't do yet but I wanted to add this little tree here I just kind of cut around it is what I did I inked it up but I thought it would just be cute uh, kind of like that so I thought about stitching around the tree but I don't think I want to do that um, I think I'm just going to go maybe right down the center and not even do the whole uh, the whole thing there. But it will be just like that. I just think that looks cute like that. And the whole keeping it simple 
just keep it simple today for this month. Okay, so we'll kind of, I think that's kind of how I want that right there. All right, same way, I'm going to let that glue dry just a hair, and then I'm going to come in and just stitch uh, probably just down the center there of it. Okay, so we did get that stitched, and I just like, this is actually one of my favorite stitches on uh, this machine here. And so uh, that is what I'm going to do, and this will kind of just pop on there, kind of like that, and we're going to stick it down. And just a quick and easy spread for the month of May. Sometimes I truly think less is more. I don't like a lot of clutter on a page. I know sometimes it seems like we're always trying to fill in every little hole, every little gap. And uh, you just don't have to do that all the time. I know I find myself doing that as well. Sometimes I'll think, oh my gosh, i got to fill that in. Look at, look at that spot right there. But you know, it's not always, it's just not always necessary to do that. So, okay, and we're going to put our little tree down here. This was just another uh, fussy cut from the My Porch Prints. I, I don't remember the name of this uh, download. I would have to probably just put it in the description box because I really didn't look at the name. And so uh, that's something I would probably just have to do. All right, so we got the little tree stuck down. And I just like that. Just so simple. Now, I think since I have ended up with this page here for the... Uh, uh, the new month. I'm not sure how I will come in with um, June's, but I may just do a whole front cover page with June on it and then, you know, start from there. So, just not sure what I have in mind for June. Alright, so there is the spread for May, and we'll kind of go back, and, and um, here is our B. I see my glue is drying there. I really, I really like that. I like the looks of it. There's for my calendar. Really like that. And if I had the word bees, I would probably put it there, but... I don't so and then there is that so there is the spread guys I hope that you enjoyed it and um, I will catch you in the next video thanks so much for watching